Every couple of years, it seems like a new category of productivity software just gets really trendy really quick. Uh, if I think back about five years ago, I think about task managers and email apps where there was a lot of innovation, a lot of competition between new and established players trying to get a foothold. I think we saw a lot of innovation that's kind of slowed down a little bit over the past couple of years. If I think about the past like year and a half, two years, note takers have really had their moment in the sun with things like Rome Research, Obsidian, Notion, really gaining momentum and pushing the entire note taking market into a different direction, I think, than they were going before. That's all been really exciting. And now I think that reading apps are kind of starting to take that place as well. I think there's definitely potential for reading to really skyrocket in late 2021 into 2022 with some really cool players entering the market. Now, I'm not going to talk about all of those players today, but I'm going to talk about Matter, which is a pretty cool read later app slash reading discovery app slash social app <laughs> that does a couple things. But I just wanted to kind of give you a tour of the interface to show you how it works, what I like about it, some of my reservations about it, and just kind of where I think we're going from here. So let's jump into the demo. Okay, so first things first, you need to get things into Matter to read in the first place. And so Matter tries to help you out by connecting to your Twitter account if you give it permission, and it will find people in your timeline who post things and will try to add them to this inbox on your main page. So you can see kind of a list of people. It doesn't really pull in everything. I don't exactly know how this works, but it's definitely not everything. And I don't find the inbox super useful right now. Uh, the Discover tab is a little more useful. This kind of shows staff picks, things that are interesting, popular across the app in general, and it shows you some quotes and everything. I think that's pretty nice. I go through it once a week or so and just kind of pull out some things that I might not have read otherwise. So that's pretty nice. There's also browser extensions for the desktop. There's a share sheet in the uh, iPhone and iPad app. So you can go ahead and if you're reading something in your browser, you can just hit a quick button and share it to Matter and read it there. So that's pretty nice as well. That's actually how I get most things into my queue. There's two other things you can do. You can also do newsletters. So if I go to my profile page and go to settings, you can actually see add newsletters as an option here. And when I go into that, it's gonna basically say, here's an email address you can use to subscribe to newsletters, and we'll just add them to your inbox for you. And that's okay. Um, personally, I find newsletters to be very hard to read outside of an email app. I think they're really designed for email apps. And with the way that kind of like RSS readers and read it later apps like this do things. It just doesn't, the, the emails don't format right. It just, it's just not how I like to read newsletters, but you can get them straight into matter that way. There's also a really cool way to save Twitter threads. And I think this is a great way to read Twitter threads, especially really long ones. Uh, you can basically just find the first tweet in the thread, hit the share button, and then share that to Matter. And so again, this works via the desktop or iOS or iPad. You can go ahead and save it. It works really well. You should be seeing that on the screen right now. Really great. Love that feature. Best way to read Twitter threads, in my opinion. So that's kind of how you get things into Matter to read. Now, once they're into Matter, you have a queue. And so this is kind of where I spend most of my time in the app is going through the things that I want to read. And so you can go ahead and kind of drag these around. Uh, there's these little grab targets over on the right. Uh, so you can kind of drag them around to prioritize them if you want. There's filters at the top so I can say, just show me short ones. So these are the, these are the short ones I can read really quickly. Show me the ones that are in progress. Uh, you can shuffle them if you just want to see like a couple of them that are just going to give you just, hey, read these or whatever. Um, that's kind of nice. You can tap on Q and then you can sort to see like maybe just my highlights. And I can see just the things I've added highlights in. Uh, I can see my favorites recently viewed and then my archive. So once I'm done with an article, I just kind of swipe it to the side and now it's archived and off my queue. So that's kind of how this works. It really works quite nicely. Um, I like it. There's full text search as well up here in the top right. So you can search inside the things that you've saved. This is all really good. And then what's the reading experience like? Uh, so let's go into this Verge article and you can see it's pretty much what you'd expect. It works just how read later apps have always worked. <laughs> so you can kind of see it. It's a nice kind of clean reading interface. If I hit the three dots here at the bottom, there are some style settings I can go into. I can really just change the light dark theme. Um, it's uh, match iOS is the default. So that's just what I have it as. So it'll be light when I, my iPad's in light mode, dark when it's in dark mode. I can adjust the brightness of my screen and I can boost or reduce the text size to whatever is comfortable for me. So not a ton of controls, but definitely enough. And I think it's totally legible the way it is. The thing I really like about this is that there's this play button up here. And if I hit this, it's going to actually read out the article for me. Now it's not read by a professional or anything. They're not like having people actually record these. It's all like synthetic voices and 
frankly, it's not that good. <laughs> like, I don't actually know why it's not as good as it could be. I feel like they should just use the internal Siri voice and it would be fine. I don't know what they're doing, but it sounds good enough. Um, and I do use it kind of relatively frequently, actually, if I'm trying to do something else, but I also want to read an article or if I'm driving and I don't have any like podcasts or audiobooks I want to listen to, I can throw in an article here. So that works pretty well. Uh, the voice gets a little weird when it kind of has to read non-standard words. <laughs> so I was reading an, uh, Ars Technica article that got into some specs and had like tables with data. It got really confused there, but in general, it's pretty cool and is a really nice thing to have, <clears throat> excuse me, as an option. Now, one thing I do like about this is that it's really easy to share a URL. So if I hit the three dots here, I can see uh, an option down here to copy the article URL. That's not a, a link to like matter.com slash and then your article or something like it's just to the URL. So when you're sharing this with someone else, you're not going to have to like pocket does this where it's like gives you the pocket link which is not what you really want to share you want to share the original article link um, so i really like that i don't even have an option for like some sort of branded link that you're going to share what i don't like is that it doesn't do a good job of saving articles that are multiple pages so i tried to save the mac stories ios 15 review and it just saved the first page pocket does a really good job of kind of figuring out it's a multi-page thing and saving all of it as one document that's really really nice matter doesn't seem to do that yet um, so not the end of the world most articles are just one page but just a thing to know and then the last thing about it that i wanted to share really quickly is how you can highlight things so i can just go ahead and select anything in an article so we'll just select this bit and then i can hit play to actually just play it or I can hit the highlighter to highlight that article. And now this will show up actually in my social feed. So anyone who follows me on Matter uh, will see that I highlighted this in this article and may recommend it to them on their Discover tab. Um, but I, what I really think is cool is that it has the ability to sync these highlights outside of Matter as well. So if you're not gonna use Matter for the long haul, you can actually sync them out somewhere else. And there's two options right now. The first option is to Readwise, which is a service that sounds really great. It's just not a thing that's connected with me, so I don't actually pay for it, so I don't use it. The other option is Notion, and I do use Notion. I love Notion. And so this uh, highlight can be shared there automatically. So Matter is automatically, I think they say every 20 minutes, they'll sync over whatever highlights you have to uh, whatever service you want. But basically, I've just gone into my settings and connected my Notion account. I created a Notion board. They give you a template to just duplicate, add this to your Notion account. And then you can go ahead and see these uh, highlights at a later date. So if I kind of leave the app and go to Notion, and we're going to go ahead and go to uh, the menu. I have a Matter page. And now you can see here are all the highlights that I've saved uh, from Matter. And so I can kind of see, uh, let's go into, I don't know, they're all basically the same. Uh, we'll go into this one, iOS browser choice. So there's the name of the article, there's the author, there's when it was uh, created, uh, when it was published, the link back to it. Right, like all this stuff is just automatically pulled in by Matter. And then the content of the note is what I highlighted in the article. So there's a couple things that I highlighted in there so I can see those. I can search them in Notion. They're available in Notion. I can export them whenever I want. So I really like that. And I think that Readwise users especially are really going to find this nice because Readwise users love quotes. They love highlights and that sort of thing. So really cool that you're able to sync those over. And again, it happens automatically. I don't have to hit anything uh, to make this happen. Uh, you don't see that Verge article or sorry, the, uh, yeah, the Verge article that I just highlighted yet, because again, it's like every 20 minutes. So it just hasn't happened yet. But in a few minutes, if I kept watching this, I would see it pop into Notion. So this works really well. I really, really like it. And yeah, that is a quick tour of Matter. Uh, it is totally free right now. There's no ads or anything. So there's zero monetization. It is invite only. So they're slow rolling the rollout of it, which is fine and everything. But I don't know what this is going to be like long term. I don't know how they're going to monetize. It doesn't seem like they want to do ads. Maybe they'll do sponsored content or maybe they'll uh, just have a subscription fee you have to pay for. Not quite sure. A little unclear on exactly what their long term plans are on actually making this a business. <laughs> but for right now, it's a pretty fun way to read. I find it really, really nice. I really like the audio versions of the articles. Um, they are a little slow um, and they don't, and they sound very robotic, but they definitely get the job done most of the time for me. So I like that. I like the highlights that sync automatically to Notion for me or Readwise if you prefer that. Um, and just, it's kind of nice. Their browser extension is really, really nice. I like the look of it. It works uh, reliably and everything. And so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the service. I think it's making me 
uh, want to read a little bit more, which is always great. Uh, and it's low stakes. So if I change my mind in a few months or in a few days even, and I'm like, Ugh, I want to go back to Pocket or uh, Instapaper or whatever, or I like finally get into the Readwise reader beta or whatever, it's easy for me to switch. So that's a quick look at Matter. Uh, hopefully it gave you a good idea. I don't have any invites to share. I'm sorry. So if you can get an invite from uh, someone, uh, that's great. Uh, I don't have any to share, unfortunately. But yeah, that's a quick look. Thank you so much for watching.